All right, Scoot, I'm going to head out. I'll be right back, okay? I'm sorry, I gotta go. The Indian Mafia took my car. Hi, I'm Emma. When was the last time you watched a film that wasn't made in America? What about India? Chopsticks is a film that was put on Netflix May 31st, 2019, and it's a film that really opened my eyes to a culture I know little to nothing about, but it's getting poor critical reception. So should you watch it? Let's talk about it. I'm sorry in advance for all the mispronunciations of names in this video. I watched a lot of interviews, but I'm having a lot of trouble, so apologies in advance. Directed by Sashin Yardi, this film stars Abhay Diol and Mathila Palkar. This story is about Nirma. She's a young, naive girl who gets her car stolen the day she bought it by the Indian Mafia. So she turns to a man known only as artist to help her retrieve what is rightfully hers. Also, the Mafia boss has a pet goat, which is really cool. My favorite part of this movie is the on-screen chemistry between the two main actors. It's pretty incredible to see a male mentor and a female mentee, if that's the word. I think it is. The relationship is undeniable. They really balance each other out. And there is a hint of romance, but it's easy to ignore and you can kind of choose whether or not you see the relationship as romantic. Artist is firm with Nirma and teaches her about the world in a way it's clear a lot of adults haven't. They're close friends that appreciate the change brought about in each other's lives. And there's also a lot of subtle humor in this film that I really appreciate. On IMDb, it's listed as a comedy, and I'm not sure if I would go so far as to call it a comedy. There's two criminal organizations in the film, like the Mafia and then the part that Artist is a part of, and the way that the film distinguishes those two sects of criminals is with humor. There's a lot more comedy and kindness in Artist's world, and while the Mafia kills people but also owns a goat, it's a little unclear. But either way, the film uses that humor to take the tension out of a potentially tense situation. The best part of this film for me is the ultimate culture shock. We get to see a couple different parts of India, from the firm that Nirma works at to kids working with beggars on the street. It really grounded India for me, from a country that I only see in the news to a place with real people with real stories to tell. And that may sound naive, but that's why I try to watch films from all over the world. Sometimes it takes someone else's story to realize that the world is so much bigger than yourself and you really have no idea what's going on out there. Unfortunately, this film wasn't perfect, and this might be a minor complaint for me, but it's something I needed to talk about. And I've been speaking French for about 12 years, but I've only ever watched movies or videos with subtitles. I don't think I've ever watched anything that's dubbed over. And essentially what that means is the actors recorded the lines in English and just played it over the other footage where I think they're speaking Hindi. The dubbing really threw me off because it's clear at some points in the film that the lines blatantly don't add up. It took about half an hour for me to get used to that, so it's not something you can't overcome, but it is something I thought was worth mentioning. Also, this film has a pretty weak plotline. In film school, my professors would tell me that using the shtick like one week later, three months later, is kind of a weak form of storytelling. There's a lot of other visual ways to say that time has passed, like a character growing a beard, or someone getting a haircut, or even something on the news. This film uses those like titles to jump around in time, always forward, just to clarify, but it kind of makes the film feel a little bit less fully thought out. It uses a lot of convenient solutions to problems like that. Also, when they can't find where the car is, there's a picture of it in the paper with the bow on it that Nirma got when she bought the car, just in case we couldn't realize that a red car is still a red car. And those convenient solutions further took away from the seriousness of the film. One thing though is I've watched in a couple interviews that the director says when talking about the story he started with characters first so he wanted to put Nirma an artist in the same world but he had to figure out a way to bridge them together. Since seeing that interview I think that really clarifies a lot of the issues that I had with the plot. He's trying to make a character driven film and just kind of inserting plot in there when he can. And also like the film I reviewed the Adam Sandler murder mystery film this film doesn't quite really know what genre to pick. On IMDb, it says it's a comedy drama. I wouldn't even call it 
one or the other. It's not funny enough to be a comedy, even though it has comedic elements, and there really isn't any drama or tension in the movie. It's just kind of is what it is. It's a character story, and we have to put it in a genre, but it's hard to choose one for this film. Maybe if it leaned harder into a genre, whether it be comedy, drama, or something else entirely, maybe it would be stronger. I'm not sure though. So what do I think of Chopsticks? Well, the criticism is really valid for the film. It's not a particularly strong film. It won't knock your socks off at all. But if you are American, I do recommend seeing this film or others like it for this intense culture shock. There are funny moments though that come along with the good acting and just charmingness of the two main characters. But have you seen Chopsticks? If you have, let me know in the comments down below. When was the last time you watched a movie that was completely out of your cultural awareness? Either let me know in the comments or on Instagram and Twitter. I'd be happy to continue the conversation there. And um, don't forget to subscribe if you want to keep talking about movies. And Give it a like if you liked it. But that is it from me today. I'll be back on Friday with another video, and I hope you'll see me next time. Bye, guys.